Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Let's get straight into this. Before we get started though, there is quite a serious mistake that I've been doing in my last couple of playthroughs. I don't know why, but I completely have, you know, I'm completely forgetting to exhaust spells after use. So what this means is because you exhaust the spell after you use it, you can't actually, uh, you can't actually cast it twice in the same combat round. So if you're attacking two monsters, this spell can't be used twice because it's, uh, so spells are, are, are much weaker than uh, I've been playing them in this particular game. Now, I know that a lot of people don't have uh, exhausting combat spells as a, 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 as a variant for that very reason, to make spells more active. And I usually play that. Uh, I've been doing it so long, I actually forgot that it was a variant. But uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to take this guy and I'm going to redo the, the round for this bloke and just do it as a uh, try and sneak past him. So we have a will of one. Actually, we're not going to sneak past him because this is something that uh, I keep forgetting. Basically, because this guy only requires one toughness, right? Spending clues to sneak by you spend a clue, get a roll, hit a, a success to get a sneak. That's the same as just doing the combat. So we've already done the... We already did this whole combat except for we use Storm of Spirits to uh, attack him back. So this time we're just going to spend a clue. Because it's minus three, we have a fight at one. So we spend one clue. And hopefully that'll be enough to get through this. Yeah, blam. Come on. You can do it. Beautiful. Look at that. So that's the end of that. Fixed. Okay. Now, let's uh, get into this. Whose turn is it? Yoink. So we've got this terrible Cathogian that I want to get rid of. Do we have anyone... He's a diamond, and there's a diamond coming out of the Great Race. Who's, who's at the City of the Great Race? That's this bloke. Forgot to put up his uh, fight last turn. Oh, well. Okay. So I don't really need to kill this guy. Uh, I probably should kill him just in case. One, two, one, two, three. Then someone has to go through this thing. Maybe I'll send Daisy through. I mean, she has like a million clues now, doesn't she? She's also got this to gain clues. Okay, let's get into this. We're starting with George. Uh, George begins with two coins. And then he rolls a die for the retainer. Oh, finally get a one. It's finally fired. Okay, so he's got some gas here. He's got the safety deposit key. He's got the rifle. He's got the magnum and the automatic. So I think he's just going to go one, two. And take out this witch. There is no sanity check. It's just a combat minus three, so put his sanity up by one with his focus like that. And then we just, let's just use the rifle. That's plus five. Oh, I guess we can use, I oh, don't want to use this because it takes money to untap. So we use the rifle, that's plus five. And then he's also plus one, two, three from the fight value. And it's minus three, five dice. Magical resistance, but we're using a rifle, so it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter because he's got endurance. He basically auto kills any any monster. Because after making a combat check, you just exhaust to add a success to the result. You know, 
So he he basically can kill anything that. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I might change the the grid spacing in this mod so it always places cards with at tappable distances. Anyway, so this guy's dead. Yoink. Now, down here, this guy just moves up one. I'll just move her up one as well. I haven't done... Oh, yeah, and he's also got to move his fight up. I should have moved that up last turn. So he's only going to get to here before he has to roll for the uh, gate closing. She will leave her the way she is. Angie. Hmm. We really need to give her some better weapons. She's got another one of these keys. So she's going to go one, two, three to the general store. Let's make her way up to the bank. What's this thing saying? Oh, yeah, we just lose. You know, right, doesn't matter. This this card's just saying we, as an extra cost at the hospital and the psychiatric care, you lose uh, sanity or stamina. Okay, this bloke here has like a billion clues on him. He's got some good weapons too. He's trying to get to the river docks, that's right. So he goes one, two, takes him to the river docks. And that actually places another clue on this. Wow, look, he's got plus two speed from here. He's, he's got so much uh, modifiers, this guy. He's got speed two, so he may as well just go one, two. Yorick. Yorick really needs to get some new spells. So I think what he's going to do, he's going to give this to Mandy. What does he need for his ability? He just needs to be blessed. Hmm, when am I going to send him? So one, two, three down to South Church. Maybe we're lucky and get blessed. Okay, she has some more money coming. And you also roll for your retainer. It's a pass. We have six dollars, so we're gonna stay at the curiosity shop. Okay, so we've got tons of gas going on here. First thing we're gonna do is do the manuscript. So, oh, first thing we do is Voice of Ra. Okay, so that is four dice. No sanity cost. That is a mega pass. Now we're going to do the Tome. So that is five dice because we're now at five law. And we've used two of our four speed. That's a pass. We're going to discard that and draw a new skill. Yoing. And it's a plus speed. That is perfect. Could not have gotten a better one. Oh, and we also have the tome too. Wow. <laughs> She's getting crazy. Oh, wait. I should have gotten the clues. Okay, let's do this one. So this is uh, the Cultus de Gules. So this is a law minus two. We get one spell and one clue token. We lose two sanity, but it doesn't matter. We never lose sanity on tomes with her careful reader ability. So that is six minus two. That's four dice. Bam, that is another pass. So we get one clue token. We get one spell. Bless. Awesome. And this gets discarded. Now we have six clues now, and her ability is if Daisy has six or more clue tokens, put Book of Secrets in play. Oh, I didn't actually pull it out. I don't know, something weird happened then. Yoink. Okay, so I actually forgot to read out these. I'll just give it a read. Oh, that's George Barnaby's one. Where are we? Over here. Daisy struggled to control her panic. It was delivered in a large crate this morning. It was sitting on my desk. Carol shrugged meekly. I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but I didn't see anything. I was real busy today. Do you have any idea? She stopped. How could Carol have known how dangerous that book might be? Forget about it, Carol. I'll track it down. 
The Book of Secrets. The walls were covered with notes and sketches. Daisy entered cautiously, wading through an ankle-deep layer of torn and crumpled paper. There was a hollow wooden thud as her toe kicked the crate that had once housed the book. Quickly, she began tearing through the paper, and at last, the ancient book was recovered. Take the first tome from the Enigma. Take the first tome. God, it's hardly worth it, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> whatevs, man. So we get we get a oop, pressing Q instead of pressing E instead of uh, <laughs> W to move. There we are. So take the first tome. Oh, Elder Sign. Missions, missions, magical, magical. Oh, come on, tome, give us a tome. There we are. Yoink. Movement. Exhaust to spend two movement points to make a law minus two check. If you pass, gain one ally, lose two sanity and discard. Awesome. So, doesn't someone have an ability that gets him that needs an ally that might have been another game i was playing in off camera yeah when i had i had a, a playing a game off camera that had this cool ability that whenever one person got an ally or a you know a, a you know like a silver lodge membership or something or a bank loan or something then both characters got them it's awesome uh so we have used two of our movement points we have another point here and another point here. Now, technically, you create your movement points at the beginning of the movement turn. So even though I got the speed boost during my movement phase, this plus one speed doesn't actually count for my movement points until next turn. So I've still only got two movement points. I mean, I do have an extra point here, but it doesn't help me. I think... Uh, Remove the Doom Track, gain a spell. I think I'm going to, I think I'll do this. What do we do? So this is a Law minus two. That's another four dice because of Voice of Ra. That is a pass. We gain an ally. Yump. Oh, Professor Armage, freaking awesome. Plus two Law and Magical Resistances. Bam. <laughs> He's just crazy. <laughs> so we're now at uh, five, six, seven, eight law. That is that is bonkers. Nice. And we've actually got one point of movement left because we've used four. I'm going to tap that for an extra point of movement. And... I think I will go into the library. Okay, Rivertown, we're in the streets, nothing happens, they're in other worlds. He's, she's at the general store, she has $8. I think I'll actually do the general store ability. One, two, three. You automatically evade monsters with a toughness of one while in the streets. Pass. We want to kill monsters, not avoid them. Exhaust when spending a monster trophy to increase the toughness value of that trophy by one. That's pretty awesome. And of course, a shotgun is pretty awesome too. Uh, I actually think I'm going to take Grey's Anatomy. That's going to help me a lot with... Uh, blessing later on that's what three was it one two three this guy is at the docks as you look across the waves you feel strangely compelled to throw yourself into the ocean's watery embrace pass a will plus one check or you are lost in time and space we have a will of two a will of two so we roll three dice That is a pass. Yoink. He's at South Church. How about blessing us? Yoink. 
Ugh, Father Michael convinces you that there are members of his congregation in greater need than you. Donate either half your money rounded up or half your items. Your choice. Uh, okay, well, that's just two bucks. Yong, yong. Boo. Uh, you are going to go one, two, three at the Curiosity Shoppy. Plus two to luck. Another book. Oh, and an Elder Sign. Nice. That's really annoying because we actually discarded an Elder Sign when we used uh, Daisy's ability. One, two, three, four, five. Funny how this physics sometimes does that with the cards. And Daisy's in the library. Looking through some of the older books, you come across a note in this margin written in a crabbed hand. Make a law minus one check. Okay, so our law is something crazy, right? So we have one, two, three, just from our cards, plus five, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Minus one, so that's seven dice. <laughs> We're going to pass this. If you pass, you're able to decipher it, draw one spell. Okay. Yunk. Ooh, Curse of Azeroth. This is another one of these really powerful spells that you don't use a lot because they have high sanity costs, but it only costs one sanity for her. So it's nine combat. That's awesome. Okay, and that is the end of that round. Let's do a Mythos draw. Ooh, it's a gate burst at the Witch House. Oh, no. So, uh, oh, it looks like, I, uh, yeah, I do have them added to the thing. Okay, I didn't think I had them added to the, whatever. What I'm trying to say is <laughs> a lot of what I'm doing, by why, I, why I'm playing this so much is because I'm testing the mod. So I actually have to add exceptions to the hover code to do the, the mouse, the mouse, uh, you know, the mouse over things like that. Whatever. The point is, I didn't think I had it added to, added to the, the mod and it does. Whatever. I'm rambling. Let's keep going. Okay. So we have, oh, look at this. We have oblongs, triangles and stars. We really should start using some of our other spells. We've got call a friend for C. Implant Suggestion. And now we've got Bless. Anyway, so we have Omblongs. There is an Oblong up here. So he flies down into the streets. Yoink. We have a triangle, which is this bloke. So we roll one dice. We want one to three, I think it is. Two, beautiful. So what this says is on a four to six, every investigator in Arkham loses a stamina. Crazy. So that is a, that's a lucky pass. And we've got no stars. We do have some hexagons, I think. Moon, oh, there's a hexagon. And that be that. Until the end of the turn, any time an investigator draws one or more common items, for any reason, he draws one fewer. Oh, okay, that's pretty fine. And that to be that, my friends. Oh, and uh, of course, we have another Doom token. Oh, this is uh, this is an old version of the mod where I haven't done. Okay, what, was, what did I do? I, I think I reduced it by five. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. Now it'll fit without, without hitting each other. Okay, that is the end of that round. I will see you guys next time.